Hello team owners and fans alike. This is week eight highlights in the USFL Fantasy Premier 20 team league. An exciting week. We are in the back half of the season for sure, guys. Uh, we'll start out in the Atlantic Division. Uh, second ranked, power ranked team, Miami, Spirit of Miami, takes on the Bulls, Jacksonville Field, Will Fong's Bulls, and uh, takes the Bulls down in a solid victory, 27 to 18. Uh, uh, Matthew is on top in the Atlantic Division, taking down the Bulls, knocking them off of their perch. Uh, other games in the Atlantic Division, uh, the Maulers, uh, Pittsburgh Maulers having a tough year. Put up a great fight, a Monday night football. I tell you, as Pittsburgh goes, so does the Pittsburgh Maulers, Pittsburgh Steelers, Pittsburgh Maulers. I think he has five uh, Steeler players on his team. Uh, they almost came back and took down the Feds. Uh, as the feds go with the Saints, uh, uh, everybody's kind of predicting the Saints this year to take it all the way that they're equipped. Uh, I'd like to think that, that my wife's team would have the same results and uh, the feds would go all the way. Uh, but the feds barely win this one against the Pittsburgh Maulers, 27-26, to 26, uh, as uh, John Pahala's uh, Maulers do surge on Monday Night Football. But take a loss, go to 1-7, and, and then the Stars – take down the New Jersey Generals in another important divisional battle. Uh, both of those teams now are four and four. We'll look at the standing shortly. Uh, we're moving on to the South. We spoke about the Bulls. They lost this past week. They were five and two tied for first, and now they uh, uh, take that loss and go to five and three. Uh, Tampa uh, beats down on the Birmingham Stallions. Uh, Bandits, um, uh, Terry Harness's team and John Bass's team take down the uh, – Tampa Bay, uh, Tampa Bay does take down Birmingham 26-17 in a solid win. Stafford, Galladay, and McCafferty, just way too much. Tampa, as I said last week, is loaded. Uh, and they are on top in the South now with a 5-2-1 uh, and one record. And we'll show that in the standings. And then the Boats, uh, former champs last year, uh, hold off the Renegades in a, another Monday night surge with the Renegades. 30 to 27. The boats are three and five. The Renegades are three and five. Uh, uh, the boats also are the highest scoring team in the league despite being three and five. Uh, I guess they've just had some tough matchups. Watch out for James Hayes and the uh, boats going forward. Michael Rodriguez with the Renegades will be doing highlights. I'm sorry, previews here in a couple of days here in the fan page. Don't miss his production. It's going to be great. Mine's just really home style. Uh, uh, Michael Rodriguez is his professional. Uh, it's done from uh, Renegade Stadium. So that is something to watch. Uh, so that's it for the South and the Pacific Division. Divisional games. Portland squeaks out a win over Denver in an ugly game. 20-19. Uh, to 19, Portland goes to 6-2. and two. Denver Gold, much improved team. Michael Rutt's team's 4-4. Four and four. Uh, Jason Wise has been on top all year in the Pacific. Surprisingly, and surprising himself, He's just got to hold on to that. The Invaders having the best draft, I believe, in the league this year. Uh, Randy Miner's Invaders uh, edge out the Wranglers. Wranglers are winning, defending champs every year in the Pacific. Uh, down on their luck, Kevin Perry lose 3-4-1. Invaders are 5-3. And, and then the Express lose to the Outlaws. Uh, Outlaws have a very solid team. El Briscoe, uh, the guru, loses out there in L.A. to the Outlaws this week. Michigan wins their game. Uh, over the uh, Gunslingers this week. Gunslingers brought it, uh, fought hard all the way through, just couldn't muster up the points that the uh, Panthers brought. Panthers will go to 5-2, and two. Gunslingers go to 3-5. and five. The Gamblers do win this week. Scott Boucher and uh, Paul Thompson's team uh, win, go to 3-5. and five. So goes Aaron Rodgers, so goes the Gamblers. Uh, we'll wait and see what happens. Uh, they're talking about... Uh, uh, you know, shoot first and think later. Um, Gunslingers tried. Gamblers came out ahead in that one. And the Blitz lose their game this week uh, and another tough loss uh, to the Gamblers. Um, look, uh, Michael Rodriguez will be doing uh, the previews coming up. Uh, here are the standings as we see it. I'm going to turn the brown here to the board real quick, and uh, we'll look at this. Uh, here we go. Uh, there is the Atlantic Division right there. I have the rankings. All of this is on the main league page for you guys that are in the league. Uh, you guys that are not in the league, it is public. You can go into our league 
and you can see the standings or anything you want by pushing the uh, ESPN Play Fantasy Football green icon. It's not going to make you play fantasy football. It's simply going to uh, take you to our league, and you can see anything there uh, that's going on. Keep up with standings and scoreboards. Uh, but there is the Atlantic Division with the rankings and the games behind. Uh, there is the South right there. Um, uh, Tampa on top, uh, close, tight, boats sneaking back there. Renegades, much improved team with Michael Rodriguez's team there. Uh, there's the Central Division. Uh, Gunslinger sitting right in the middle, two and a half games back. It's not over yet. And then if you notice the asterisks by some of these teams, those are the spoiler award category teams right now fighting for spoiler award. And there's Portland on top in the Pacific. Uh, uh, Michael's going to break it down like a cheap shotgun coming up with previews. We are in the meat of things, guys. Pick your favorite teams. Cheer for us on the uh, Fast Fan page. Uh, let us know who you're pulling for. Uh, basketball uh, promos are coming up soon. Uh, crazy videos. Welcome from everyone. Thanks, guys. Have a great week of football.